Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to do a library management system in C. So I am going to program. It is a menu driven program with 7 options. First option is add library information, display book information, list the count of a specified book, list the count of all the books in the library, modify a record, date record and exit. Okay. So I am running it. Now I am going to add in book information. For example, I am going to uh, give a random name like Living Science. By Rachna Sagar. Okay. So the assessor number is like serial number. Okay. So 16. The price is uh, 180 and the quantity are available are 5. Okay, so it's less to if you need to add another record or anything. Okay, I'm giving no. Okay, now I'm going to display their book information. So these are the books. Now I'm going to list the count of a specified book I'm going to do Olympus so it shows there are four books left okay so next we are going to do fourth one it will list all the books quantity of books available in the library and then I'm going to modify and record for that. I'm going to change GFE. The spelling is wrong, so right. Okay, I'm changing it to there. Okay. What are I doing? This is the number is 15 the price is 200 and the quantity available are 6 okay it has another record or anything okay no so now as you can see it is changed if you want you can even delete the record I'm going to delete the what is that first record So it is deleter. Now we can't see it here. Okay. Just the program. Now let's just see the code. Okay. These are the header files available. Which we need for the program. Okay. Here it disables the warning. 4996 and 6031. These are caused by scanner function in uh, Visual Studio. Okay. I'm defining line length as 90. It is used for displaying the table when we need to display all the uh, book informations. Okay. So here I'm describing the, well, not dis defining the structure book. Okay. Then I will give some ends and exercise. Here I am defining the file pointers FP and FT. Okay. Here it opens the file employee dot in RB plus format. It's like binary format for reading. If it's not available, then this will open create a new file. If any errors comes. This uh, if function will so an error. That's it. Okay. So it displays the book information. As you can see here. Then this is the first case in the switch. Here the scanner will get. Uh, 
bean well integer b it is used in the switch case that uh, so this function fc will take the i don't know what to say it will go to the end of the file for adding new information here you have to enter the file informations and f write will write them into the file then case 2 the case 2 is display the book information so here this will print the table as you can see here then rewind fp this will go to the starting point of the file then f read function will read the contents of the file into the structure at each line then this will print the function as you can see here huh? so print the data okay then case 3 the case 3 is this is the count of a specified book so in case 3 it will ask us to enter the book's title and after we enter the title the f it will go to the first um, starting point of the file and it will read it into the e structure then it will check if the book's title and the title of the the book data in the file matches if it matches then c in integer c will be uh, 1 and it will print the number of books left so here i'm sensing it Sorry. Okay. Books title I'm entering. Let us see. Eight of the books are left as shown here. Okay. If it's not found, then it will print an error. That's all. Then case 4. The case 4 is, this is a count of all the books in the library. Here, it will again go to the starting point of the file and read it into the structure. And each time it does, the integer A will be a... What is it? Added... No. Then a quantity will be added to the integer A. So at the end we can see total number of books. Okay. Then let's go to the case one minute. I'll just run it. Case four. As you can see there are 213 books in the library. Okay. Then case five. It is modify and record. In this blast the title of the book to modify. After we enter that, it will go to the starting point of the file and it will read it into the structure D and after it finds the title which matches the title being given it will ask us to enter the new title author assistant number price and quantity after we enter it it will go to the what is that the line which the title is located and it will change it into this that's all. If there is any error, then it will say not found. Please try again. Okay. I'm just modifying the what is it? Olympus record. Five. Okay. It is a new title. I'm um, hitting. Java. Thirty-four. 
okay after the modified record it is updated in the file here you can see it it was Olympus here okay and now it is changed into let us Java okay now let's see k6 so the k6 is data record so to data record it will ask us the title of the book to delete after we enter that it will open a new file temp dot dot it will be opened in the well binary format after opening it it will go to the first of the file which we are using after that it will read the content the data of the file into the structure D and check if the title we entered and the title in the data matches. If it doesn't match us, it will write the data into the temporary dot dot. After that, it will close both the file. After doing that, it will remove emp dot dot which we are using as ca uh, what is that default file now and it will rename temp dot dot into emp dot dot then it will open the emp dot dot that's all after doing that it will ask if we need to uh, write another record okay then case 0 is exit if we enter uh, 0 then it will close the file and break okay so if we uh, do anything wrong like for example I'm entering 9 it will say well it try again and it will show the options. That's all. Thank you for watching the video.